Is it a must have? No. Like you you won't die. You won't die without it. But without this concealer I I may die. Hello my loves. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about rare beauty one more time. Non-sponsored, honest, fresh. I hate using the term my honest review because if I'm going to start a video saying my honest review does that mean that the rest of the videos were not honest? But these are terms that we just end up using anyways. We can have a whole chit chat about that. You know why do influencers use the word honest? Uh, but anyways this is a non-sponsored video. I had done a whole rare beauty video when they launched initially two years ago and a lot of the products I'm going to be talking about is that. It's kind of a refresher two years later. What do I think? Also, you know, I, or at least I'm assuming you know that rare beauty has finally launched here in India in Sephora and uh, well, it's a bit pricey. Okay, it's a bit more pricey than you would get outside of India. I'm assuming it's because of the taxes, the luxury taxes, guys. Let's not even get into that. That can be another video on its own. So if this is the very first time you're seeing this face, hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video. I've been saying this line for about 10 years, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I've got my tea right here. I've got my notes right here. I've got all the products laid out. Let's get started. So the very first product I want to talk about is the foundation and I've got the shade in 440C. Now I think this is a bit one shade too dark or orange for me. So if you are my exact skin tone, one shade lighter would be your perfect skin match now if you're not gonna but also that is the foundation i've got on my face it kind of matches my hands so overall i don't mind it at all but if i have to match it to my face my face has a lighter shade and a little bit more cool tone than my body because body stand whatever guys <laughs> that's the deal on the shade now if you want a more in-depth video on my current seven top foundations i will link that video right here or here wherever the eye is gonna pop up right there um, but let me talk about this foundation um, i love it i love it so much it just has that you see it just looks like skin your skin looks poreless it creases it's not like it will not crease it's got some magical formulation like if you look at my forehead there are those these lines are there and um, today I applied this foundation in the morning. It's been a few hours and I did not set it with powder until now because I wanted to see on a realistic basis. If you don't set it, what happens? Um, it creased just a bit underneath the eyes, just a bit on the forehead. So it's not unrealistic, which I like to be very, very honest because I feel like it's not that harmful. <laughs> or, I don't know. It's just my thinking. But any which ways I love this foundation so so much guys but this is 3900 rupees for a 30 ml bottle i do not think this is a dupable formula if you want to dupe it i would say like our k beauty foundation for i think k beauty goes for 1200 rupees for about the same i think 25 30 ml is a good match you know if you want but this comes with a doe foot applicator it's just so unique and so cute moving on the next product i want to talk about are the rare beauty concealers and this just you know what this is 2800 rupees for one concealer and that is just for oh, 7.5 ml there are so many great concealers out there but this has to like i cannot dupe it i can't there is something about this concealer that is undupable i want you to see how it's so incredibly easy just one swipe of your brush and it just melts into your skin especially if you got the right shade i use the shade mostly 420n this can be my all over face shade i also have a slightly deeper shade which is 450n it has a nice little angle to it that makes it so easy to like plonk that on the under eye area and it's not too pointed it's got a nice little surface area also having said that let me just say that this I feel is a must have from Rare Beauty. It is definitely, I see a lot of people talk about their blushes and their highlighters. That's what is going viral on TikTok and Instagram. But I think this is what needs to go viral. Let's talk about the blush and I have so much to talk about. I have it in the shade Grace. Okay. Now this over here goes for 2,900 rupees and I cannot believe that it is more expensive than the concealer. And this is also for 7.5 ml, the exact same amount of product. Now this is what is 
viral viral on your social media platforms because it is blendable and it is so pigmented and it is known for how pigmented it is but here's the deal guys now i want you to go back to my old my initial rare beauty video and i made a mistake of applying i think three dots because that's what i'm used to just you know force of nature habit you know like three dots and it was too much you just need one dot of this and that's how pigmented it is now here is what is very very interesting so to do this video i reached out and took this blush out and i realized that it, this blush doesn't have that pigmentation anymore you know so i applied one dot i blended it out it's completely disappeared so then i applied the three dots that completely gave me clown face two years ago it kind of blended into my face so for 2900 rupees this is going to reduce in its pigmentation over time so you're not really going to get your complete bang for your money but now here is a dupe if a pigmented cream blush is what you're after guys try the flower beauty uh, blush and this is the shade in bitten this is what i've applied on top of this you know on top of the rare beauty one because this is just not showing up on my face anymore and this also i don't use as much because it's too too pigmented and i do not see anyone talking about this this has not caught that instagram craze or the tiktok craze i do not know why it's too pigmented guys often i mix it with other blushes to get it to tame down but this one is only 720 rupees you know 2900 720 that's a huge margin let's move on to the highlighter and this oh my god seeing the prices kind of scares me okay this is 3000 200 rupees and this is for 15 ml so that's quite a large size now why will you need 15 ml of product guys as highlighter because you only apply it just you know the highlighter now let me tell you it's stunning it's absolutely stunning i've got the shade in transcend and that's what's on the right side of my face it kind of gives you a glow from within i'm just drinking my eight glasses of water and i'm just happy my mental health is in check there is no visible glitter there is no visible chunk found a dupe in this new cosmetic brand called shibel now these are eye shadows actually they are eye shimmer toppers and this is what i've got on the right side of my face and you can see it's so compelling that rose goldness guys let me bring it right next to you but as soon as i saw it the first thing that i thought is oh my god this looks like my rare beauty highlighter it's just so beautiful it's got a bit more red tones but i've got it on this side can you really tell the difference you know now this is slightly more expensive as well this is 1700 rupees that is 6 ml of product you're getting 15 ml so side by side i think it kind of comes to the same ish if you had 15 ml over here is it a must have no like you you won't die you won't die without it but without this concealer i'm i may die the next product i want to talk about is their eyeshadow palette i have it in the confident energy this is the very first eyeshadow palette that they came out with it's not even available in india i checked out the sephora website um, and i realized that they haven't launched any of the eyeshadows here in india i do not know why but anyways eyeshadow for rare beauty is something that i have kind of found boring i think they are great quality but i think it's boring you can get similar looks at the end of the day for much much cheaper so when it comes to eyeshadow right we are not walking around with this beautiful packaging and we're not like this is not my wallet so i don't re i don't really have to pay 3000 4000 rupees for a you know, but that's what i've got on my eyelid today the next product i want to talk about is the matte lip cream oh my goodness this is 2400 rupees and i think the first of all the lipstick shades that rare beauty comes out with is so universal okay they look beautiful on indian skin tones they look beautiful on all other skin tones across the globe i love that but i do not want to speak about the colors because colors are at the end of the day dupable if you look far and wide we will find similarities i've duped this particular shade this is this one specifically it's called fearless it's one of my favorites it's what's on my lip today but i've duped it so i'm not going to talk about the color what's unique about this is the formula it has the softest cream mousse formula that i've ever ever tried so it's just a pleasure to apply on your lips it definitely transfers it definitely does not last it's not an extremely long wearing formula it does not stain your lips there is nothing other than it's 
comfort that is unique to this. I was going through my uh, collection and I found that there are others that have similar, not the same, but similar formula. Lakme's weightless matte mousse for 725 rupees is a more liquidy version of this one. And Pax Sweet Sensation Lip Cream is a slightly drier version. All right, let's talk about the viral rare beauty lip oil called the... No, it's called the lip oil. <laughs> The shade that I have is called Joy. Now this is so, so, so popular, so, so viral that it has completely sold out in India. Um, I got this from US. This was $20 in US. So I do not know how much they're selling for over here. So when they bring it back in stock, let me tell you that uh, this is absolutely stunning. Okay, this is not a lip oil. It's a lip stain. It gets deeper in time. So this looks like a very bright orange when you first apply it, uh, but then it kind of blends into your skin and gives you a very your lips but better coral stain that stays on your lips for good four hours now will i buy this yes because i like lip stains i like the fact that they do not transfer i don't have to worry about my lips so this is something i would say i would recommend uh, out of the lot you know like I won't call it a must have but it's definitely it's it's a it's a fun exciting product to have. Let's move right along. Let's talk about the eyeliner. This is 200 200 2700 rupees you guys 2700 for an eyeliner if you are a regular eyeliner that's gonna it's gonna last you like a, a month two month of eyeliner 2700 isn't it too expensive but anyways i love the packaging let's talk about the brights i love the packaging that point at the end so if you like a thick eyeliner like this the the one that i've got today this is it okay because it's going to lay down a fat nib on you a fat line on you it's not one of those controllable flimsy liners with which you get a very thin line it's not one of those felt tip liners with which you can get a thin and fat line with this most of the time you are going to get a fat line and it is a brush tip which is great for control and it gives you a matte line it's very long lasting it doesn't powder it doesn't flake it lasts long uh, all day it, it, all of that is great so if you have shaky hands um, if you have trouble with stability if you feel like it's difficult to get a nice clean line this is great guys because it has a very uh, non-fluid formula very liquidy formulas tend to get everywhere especially if your hands shake quite a bit you know it gets everywhere even thin precision liners you need to have the precision of a surgeon this has that benefit now a few products that i have tried when i've been in sephora and i have formed an opinion on is a silk touch highlighter that is the um, um the what is that the solid highlighter powder i have felt that it's not that unique at all it's beautiful but uh, even the pack highlighters are equally beautiful for one by fourth the price you know and i've also noticed that they don't really last on your face they kind of dissipate um, even the small pod blushes uh, they're not very pigmented i think they are way too expensive for what they are then the makeup mist for 2000 rupees for the mini size i believe the mini size is 15 ml 2000 rupees but i think that's worth it if you have an extremely oily face and if you feel like your makeup melts away too fast and if you have makeup that transfers the rare beauty face mist um, is a great topper to have to lock in your makeup so you can buy the mini for 2000 then another note that i have made and the final note that i've made in my notebook is the brushes now these brushes are going for 2400 rupees 2700 rupees guys i really don't think you need to i mean once again if you are the bougie girl and you like to invest in one two brushes or whatever how many i'm not putting a limit on your you know <laughs> pending but if you like to go ahead do it but do you need to have a 2500 rupee brush to get a good makeup look nah -uh. baby nah -uh. i wouldn't be launching my pack all you need brush set in that case you know guys pack brushes are great my brush set has completely sold out as of now we're not bringing it back i'm sorry about that so many people are asking but anyways uh, you don't need a you don't need a 2500 brush <sighs> To get a beat so this is my um, 
what is worth the money of rare beauty when it comes to finally rare beauty being in india but nevertheless i'm very very excited that rare beauty is launching in india and our brands are bringing these international brands and making it more available to us in india because now we don't have to wait till we make a new york trip to get a rare beauty lipstick or wait for someone who is traveling it's available you know it's just about do i want to spend that money or not so i love it welcome to india rare beauty i love you i love you so much <laughs> anyways uh, so that's the end of this video um, let me know if you have anything to add to my list let me know if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next one Mwah. bye